there is a look at Bristol Motor Speedway getting a big facelift with the dirt coming in. This is one of the marquee, iconic events on our schedule. We look forward to it every single year, and it is almost time to be racing on the dirt. It's a big weekend. And speaking of that, Sunday is a big day as well. Easter Sunday, I might add. NASCAR kicks things off with an Easter celebration at 4.30 p.m., race day at 5.30, and then we will continue on Fox as we lead you right to the green flag for the race at Bristol. And as promised, David Reagan joining me now on the show. We've been reflecting back on all the moments from the hub this week. But now it's time to talk about this weekend, the Bristol race. You ready for this, the dirt race? I, I'm ready to see some race cars and trucks uh, on that Bristol dirt. Well, we've had a crazy week, you know, with, with penalties and all kinds of uh, schedule announcements and yeah. all-star stuff. People, uh, special so, guests so, here. That, let, let's get some racing uh, on the way. You know, the dirt race at Bristol is a marquee race, and, and it's so fun to see these next-gen race cars on kind of an old school dirt track and you've got these drivers all hungry that they, they, they want to go win this race it, it's a big race for sure it's a big event no question about it it never disappoints and last year the bristol dirt finish was one for the ages here is a look back kyle bush has eight victories on concrete here he's trying to tame the dirt kyle bush is on a mission i'm telling you here he comes out of the bottom slides up in two right. who's gonna save it neither one and kyle He's got to win barely. Steals one. Damn right. The work. Unbelievable. Take the bow. 60 NASCAR Cup Series wins. Goodness gracious. Good for Kyle Busch, and what a race that was. What do you remember about that when you're reflecting back on that finish? Well, well I remember watching Chase Briscoe and actually Kyle Busch battle for second place with about 15 or 20 to go. Chase made an incredible move to get past Kyle, and then he ran Tyler Reddick down, and I was thinking, oh boy, you know, if Chase <laughs> can catch Tyler Reddick, and he did. I think Chase had the fastest car at the end, and he just got a little too much in turns three and four. And then I really thought uh, Tyler Reddick was still going to win. He was trying to get across the start-finish line, and Kyle Busch only led one lap. It That's was, all he needed, It's Caitlin. all he needed. It was the most important one. And surprisingly, these two drivers, when it came to Chase Briscoe and Tyler Reddick, they had a great display of sportsmanship yeah, at the end. I don't think you would have seen every driver smiling and kind of uh, showing this level of respect. I mean, kudos to both of these uh, young men. I mean, they, they both were probably heartbroken because they didn't get that win. Right. Uh, but but they were, were man enough to say, hey, you know, I, I accept your apology. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. There wasn't any fist thrown. But, but all the reporters were right there. They were ready. Very much gathered, to, to get yes. that action. Yeah. yeah, no question about it. Well, Chase Briscoe is one we know who grew up dirt racing, always solid when it comes to these tracks. So, too, are these drivers. Joey Logano, he leads the group in terms of the average finish with a 2.0. Coda winner from earlier this year, Tyler Reddick, who we were talking about, also on the list with Ryan Blaney, Daniel Suarez, Kyle Busch, Michael McDowell, Brad Kozlowski, and William Byron. So, I want to focus in on driver 22 for a moment because he has become sneakily good on these style tracks, which perhaps is a bit surprising considering it's not really his background. Yeah. Yeah, it is a little surprising. Joey's a great race car driver, but you know, he posts all those videos online of him, you know, and his son in That's the mud, true. they're in the maybe UTV. They're yeah, so, so maybe he's used to all that slipping and sliding. But, you know, when I think about the 22 team, I think about Paul Wolf, you know, Coleman Presley, the spotter, and Joey, they all work extremely hard during the week. You know, that they look at the analytics uh, and the trends of what's going to happen watching uh, film, and maybe in the simulator. And, and Joey's just a prepared driver. So as that track is changing, as the race race cars changing. I think he's able to make good adjustments uh, and, and then just being smart, taking care of his race car and being in contention at the end. Yeah, Joey Logano, we know, will once again be a threat. There's another driver who may not come to mind, but has done well on this track, and that would be Daniel Suarez. Take a look at his numbers over the last two visits there. 122 laps led. The only driver to lead more than 50 laps in our two trips to Bristol. You also see his finishes there in the two events along with the average running position. So, you know, Daniel Suarez is probably labeled Bristol as a race he can capitalize. What do you think to see out of that group? Yeah, that kind of surprised me. I, I remember him leading some laps in, in both dirt races, but when I think about this team track house, I think about mile and a half are really fast. Road courses, they were really fast, but, you know, Daniel got up front and, and he was so patient to uh, not jump the cushion. He, he was, you know, when you're the leader, Caitlin, certainly at a dirt track, you don't have to worry about the, the mud and the dust flying. You know, you, you can see well, you can kind of uh, set the pace at the start of the field. So I think if they can find a way up front, whether it's through the heat races, maybe a little strategy staying out at one of these uh, stage breaks, uh, you might see Daniel lead some more laps. I know he wants to get that win this season. That would go a long way.
Yeah, no question about it. Daniel Suarez hoping to have a good showing when it comes to Bristol Dirt on Sunday. What about some drivers who are pulling double duty? Here's the crop of them. Joey Logano, of course, hoping to have a big event in both series. Then there's William Byron, who's had such a strong season so far. Right. Chase Briscoe. Jonathan Davenport, he also is hoping to do trucks and cup series race. It'll be fun to watch. Yeah, it'll be fun to watch these guys do double duty. They'll learn a lot. But, but three of the regulars, everybody knows. But Jonathan Davenport, he's one of the best late model races in the country so he just needs to learn how to like yes. get in and out of the window buckle up the window net uh you know this the start button so it's going to be a fun weekend it is hey race fans thanks for watching our video for all nascar on fox news content and the best clips from fox sports be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel